Hello, I'm Nina Vyatkina, one of the associate editors for the journal. It has been an honor to serve as chair of this year's committee for the 2022 Dorothy Chan Award for the best journal article in language learning and technology. And it is with great pleasure that I present this year's winner. This is the third year the award has been presented and it has become one of the prestigious honors in the field, recognizing an article that provides an important critical and or analytical insight that contributes something new to the call field. There were many deserving articles in this year's poll and making the final decision was challenging for the committee. But in the end, the article, Assistive Design for English Phonetic Tools Adept in Language Learning by Maritza Medina Gonzalez and Deborah M. Hardison was chosen as the winner. Medina Gonzalez teaches English in Colombia and Hardison is a faculty member at Michigan State University. The article describes the process of creation of a series of tools for teaching phonetics and pronunciation, as well as reports the results of an empirical study that tested the effectiveness of these tools, including learning gains and learner perceptions. The authors describe their adept tools and pedagogical approach as follows. Grounded in multisensory training efficacy, adept involves auditory visual tactual integration through the use of visual tactile IPA symbol cards and an auditory visual companion website based on the universal design for learning guidelines. Each card includes a symbol description, and website reference number, all with braille notations. The website includes printed and audio recorded information on the articulation of American English consonants and vowels, with recordings of each sound in isolation, syllables, and words. The authors tested the efficacy of their approach with learners of American English in a Latin American country for 10 weeks and found a significant improvement in sound production accuracy, as well as very positive learner perceptions, who called the ADAPT tools and approach invaluable for facilitating collaborative learning. This article stood out to the award committee because of its focus on an underrepresented, understudied, and perhaps most importantly, underserved population visually impaired language learners. Moreover, Medina Gonzalez and Hardison strive to improve inclusion by enhancing collaboration among blind, low vision, and sighted language learners. Their study is innovative in its pedagogy that follows the principles of the universal design for learning by combining physical and digital media and has the potential to impact broad populations by catering to a variety of learner needs and learning styles. Their approach to using international phonetic alphabet symbols for phonetics instruction can be applied to any language. Their study was conducted and reported in a rigorous manner and has implications beyond the sample at hand. Congratulations, Maritza Medina Gonzalez and Deborah Hardison. We look forward to learning more about the implementation and impact of your research, as well as new studies it may inspire. Finally, the committee's sincere gratitude goes to Dorothy Chun, whose generous gift made this award possible. We hope it in inspires more groundbreaking research and look forward to meeting future winners.